Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord we God's life. Last one, guys. It's been a trip. <laughs> I don't think my mom has watched all of these, so I don't really expect you to have uh, watched them all either. I'm not going to do like a party hat going away thing. Um, I would encourage you to check out the Uncultured Saints podcast if you want to see what we're up to next, because uh, there's a lot of um, mediocrity there for you too. Uh, but we're wrapping up the large catechism. Uh, we have looked at the law, the creed, how to pray, the sacraments. We have looked at the summary of Christian faith. We have looked at the law, the gospel, and the means of grace. We have looked at everything that God would have us know to uh, know who we are, both as the sinners that need Jesus, but also as the sinners who have received Jesus. The, the catechism matters. You never outgrow it. The catechism matters for you to study every single day, uh, both the small catechism and the large catechism. These are the things that continue to, to norm our faith to make us normal. These are the things that continue to to hold us in truth and, and also in hope uh, against the devil, the world, and our own sinful flesh. And Luther, as he sums up the large catechism, does it better than me. You know, surprised. He writes, In conclusion, therefore, let every father of a family know that it is his duty by the injunction and command of God to teach these things to his children or have them learn what they ought to know. For since they are baptized and received into the Christian church, they should also enjoy this communion and the sacrament in order that they may serve us and be useful to us. For they must all indeed help us to believe, love, pray, and fight against the devil. Dads, this is your job. Teach your kids this stuff, catechism stuff. Make sure that they're learning it in their church. Make sure that they're learning it in their home. Make sure that this is a part of their lives because, well, they're Christians right now. Like, right now, today, they're baptized, right? They're, they're Christians right now. And so they've got these enemies, the same enemies that you and I do, the devil, the world, and our own sinful flesh. And so, well, we are the body of Christ together, both the grown-ups and the kids. They're a part of it not just someday, but like right now. They help us by living inside of their vocations as students, as children, as citizens, as brothers and sisters. We, we in Christ, they, they serve us in joining their voices to the angelic host, to, to the Son who, who prays for us in heaven, our Father who art in heaven. They, they serve us in growing to receive the sacrament with us, that we would be strengthened together by Christ who has won us the victory. So fathers especially, teach the catechism to your family. Teach the catechism everywhere that you go. Make sure that the catechism is the truth that, that your kids are being, well, shaped by. Because there's lots of other su proposed, supposed truths out there. Um, and, well, they'll pull us away from that which is holy. They'll, they'll pull us away from that which is true. They'll, they'll pull us away from the law that, that tells us what we are to be. The And, and who God is, the, the creed that, that shows us what God has done for us. They will teach us to pray based on what we want instead of based on God's character. They will teach us to look for certainty in ourselves instead of God who makes himself present in word and in sacrament. In, in all of it, we come back to the catechism over and over again by the command of God because these are the, well, the, the building blocks of our faith. This is the core of our faith. This is the faith. And so um, the catechism is never something that you sort of, kind of had videos on in the background for for like three years and moved on from we'll start it over and we'll do it again and again and again because this is who we are we're the sinners that jesus died for we're the baptized the communicants the holy ones of god <laughs>